对不起，伤害了你，伤了你的感情。我听见有个声音，是玻璃心碎一地。It broke over 25 million views around the globe in just three weeks. But that's not all. It also became the only Mandarin song to reach the global top 15 trending songs on YouTube. Many people have called "Fragile" a thinly veiled dig at the China's online nationalists. I sat down with Nan Wei to talk about his intentions in writing the song. And the song is actually about、uh, the. The relationship between people. Some sometimes we just trying to tell the truth, telling the、uh, the true story. But some people cannot accept that.、Yeah, that's why I make the song fragile. Are you worried about you know after releasing this song, what what was the impact of 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 your you know of of this?、Song? Actually, I don't I don't mean to make a song like to China or what country. I didn't mean that. I also didn't mention. The, the name of the country or, or any people's name inside my lyrics. For me, it's just a love song. It's a love song and the, telling about the 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 relationship between people. Although China is not mentioned in lyrics, the music video features imagery related to China, such as pandas. But Nan Wei insists that people see what they want to see in the song. That they had no intention of focusing specifically on China. Different people got different explanation for my lyrics. That's the magic of the song. It's about、uh, when we are telling the truth. We that we didn't mean to hurt anyone, but someone you know they, they just get hurt because maybe they are too sensitive or something. <laughs> yeah, that's the intention. Nan Wei is grateful for the support he's received from fans around the world. He says he did not expect the song to go viral. Actually, I'm quite surprised because this song makes the results come out. I didn't think about my song can like reach to the world. Fragile is the newest single from Nan Wei's latest album, Gozition. He explains the concept behind the album. Actually, this Gui Cai Zhuo Yue, if it's in English, our English name is more special. 它叫 Gozition， 就是 Ghost 是鬼嘛 ，Musician 是音乐人嘛。The Chinese word for ghost 鬼 also sounds like the word for genius. But his record company didn't exactly think he had the look of a genius. But clearly, he has figured out how to use his creativity to connect with his fans. Many people think I'm challenging others' boundaries, but for me, it's Sometimes I'm very sensitive. For example, I made a movie about the ethnic minority. I'm very sensitive. For me, it's more sensitive. It means 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 it's more 那我觉得，呃，因为每个国家的法律不一样，国有国法。那如果你那个国家不能接受，那如果你接下来你要在那个国家发挥你的作品，那你就要遵守他的法律。So Nan Wei had to make a choice of whether he will work in China or not. He says that he was considering working with the company there and even agreed to follow China's rules for social media. He was hoping he would be free to post whatever he wanted on social media outside of China, like on Facebook and Instagram. They said not to. That some works, some words, some writings, all must be examined. And it's very strict. That for me, it will affect my creative direction. Nan Wei says that many Chinese internet users have left positive comments for him since "Fragile" was released. And many musicians and filmmakers there have messaged him privately with words of encouragement. But this is actually the most surprising, the most touching part is my WeChat, because my WeChat has no use. But I have some Chinese colleagues who have been working with me, and they have brought many people in. They have come in and said, "Hey, you can't use the word 'you 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 can't use the
For Nengui, the best thing about making music in Taiwan is you don't have to worry about censorship. You say creating music, actually, where can you do it? Just when you make a recording, I think Taiwan has given me a lot of respect for the creation of music. And before I wrote a song called "Gui Dao," that song is actually about how people are discriminating and also about censorship in Taiwan. And this song, if it's played in other countries, it could be mocked, be censored, or be banned. In Taiwan, it doesn't. And it also made me win the Grammy for the best year-end album. For me, it was a very 就是台湾就是有这样的包容力跟尺度。With the support of his peers and fans around the world, Nam Wee is an artist at the height of his powers. And as his latest album makes clear, the freedom of creativity requires freedom of speech. And in Taiwan, Nam Wee has found the perfect partner for his music. Patrick Chen, Chris Ma, and Ken Ning for Taiwan Plus.